They are relics of the Cold War, still scattered throughout cities across America. Signs designating fallout shelters. I've been here thousands of times and I've never once considered this a fallout shelter. New York City, more than 18,000 of them were put up in the event of nuclear war, and today many of them still exist. I can tell you that, for example, my kids would have no idea what that means. But officials here warn they're not only confusing, they're also no longer functional, and they could be misleading the public. They really should come down. Elliot Calhoun is a planner at the New York City Department of Emergency Management. Fallout shelters are the best defense against nuclear radiation. He says since the Cold War, conventional wisdom has changed on what can be done if the big one hits. The thing is, it doesn't have to be called a fallout shelter to make it a, a decent a place where you can get very uh, be well protected from nuclear fallout. All you need to do is put as much distance and space and objects, really, um, like walls and, and, and ground, et cetera, between you and the outside where this dangerous material can land. The city has already started dismantling the signs on some public buildings, and they're working on plans to eventually take all of them down. The issue is especially relevant given what happened in Hawaii last week. A staffer accidentally fired off an emergency alert to the whole state, warning of an incoming ballistic missile. Chaos ensued. The retraction came almost 40 minutes later. Everyone in Watch Command has thought about, like, oh my gosh, that could have been me. It's um, a scary thought for the people at the helm of New York's emergency alert system, but staff here say it's less likely the mistake could happen on their watch. The testing system and the real emergency system were kept separate with plenty of fail safes in place. For New York City emergency management, it would be, it's not impossible, but it's, it's difficult to kind of mess that up. Uh, Hawaii might have been a false alarm, but next time it might be real. So if you get an alert and it is for real, stay inside. Go to the deepest part of the building you're in, away from windows, and skip the fallout shelter. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.